Alright, today I'm doing a video on a Tram D201A and this one is only about a crystal manual mode or transmitting on the uh, VFO and the reason I chose this one is this is a customer's radio and it skips running on the bowl but uh, this is not mine, but the reason I chose to do this one before I mod it is this radio is um, factory, it's unmodded, and it does not transmit on the manual or the VFO. It only uh, transmits on crystal. It receives on the VFO, but since it's unmodded, it um, only transmits on crystal. And most all D201s are modded, so to mod it to um, transmit on the VFO, you had to cut a few things and jumper a couple things. It's not hard, but people see their uh, radio, you know, with a jumper here that don't look factory and a cut wire here or a cut diode here, and they'd be like, you know, what's going on? You know, how come I got a, a cut diode over here and a cut wire over here? Well, that's necessary if you want to make this radio so it can transmit on the VFO. Basically how this radio works as far as the crystals, let me turn it off while I stick my fingers in there, is basically you got uh, two crystal banks. You got 16 megahertz crystals right here. And you got um, four megahertz right here. And these crystals... Uh, uh, be like I think starting at this end that will be channel 1 through 5 I'll be hooked to this tra uh, crystal and then why you got so many it's got a second one for uh, upper side band so that would be 1 through 5 upper side band and then 2 through I think it's actually 4 channels 2 through 8 on AM LSB and then 2 through 8 on USB but that's how the 16 megahertz crystals work and over here you got the uh, 4 megahertz crystals and I think they started this here and that would be channel 1 2 3 and then I think there's a space channel in between 3 and 4 so that one wouldn't be active and then that would be channel 4 and then same thing 5 6 7 and then 8 and I think that one kicks in about channel 25 could be wrong on that but that's going by memory and again those are 4 megahertz crystals but anyway when you go to manual or the VFO mode then it disconnects these 4 megahertz crystals here and it connects to this RCA line coming in that's 4 megahertz coming in off the VFO you know the VFO is basically uh, these are the tuning controls over here and I think it uses this tube here you can see the wire coming out here that RCA wire and that goes to the bottom here that's the 4 megahertz coming in off the VFO and so you're either on the 4 megahertz crystal here or in manual VFO mode you're coming off the 4 megahertz from the VFO there that's all it works so as it comes from the factory long as you're in crystal mode you're always off the 16 megahertz and the 4 megahertz crystals here always in it when you're transmitting when you're receiving in VFO mode you go from uh, these 4 megahertz crystals over to the VFO coming in here that's all it does it switches there so you have to switch around the wiring and the way that works a little bit if you want to be able to transmit off the VFO but let's get to why I wanted to show this one because this radio is unmodified and unmolested right now so people will you know like I want to get mine back to factory what's a factory one look like well there you go that's what a factory mode switch looks like unmodified again unmodified this will only transmit during the crystal during um, it will only transmit off the crystals you can't transmit off the VFO unless you mod this and basically how this um, crystal manual switch here that's the front of it and this is the back 
that's a yellow wire down there that would be pin um, actually that's white and yellow if I can get a good picture it's white with a uh, yellow in it that would be pin one white with blue here would be pin two violet here would be pin three there's nothing here which would be pin four just an empty space nothing on the schematic and then white and red would be pin five white and orange would be pin six there's a tap for pin seven but there's nothing on it and then there's a space where pin 8 would be nothing there then pin 9 has one but it's nothing connected to it and then pin 10 is an orange wire and if you see the schematics not the schematics the mods usually hook a ground to pin 10 there that orange wire to get it to transmit on the VFO but as you see this one is um, no orange wire no extra jumper so that's what that looks like from the factory put some more light in there so somebody can get a good picture a good look and here's the schematic for most of that that's S4 the uh, manual switch well that's most of S4 and that's the wires and the pin out of it and um, there's a second part to that that's uh, pins 9, 10 and 11 that light yellow there of that same switch it's just this 9, 10, 11 the schematics is in a different place on the schematics but the same switch that's the bottom of it and that orange wire I was talking about you need to ground it to be able to um, go off the crystal be able to transmit off the VFO because if you see that orange wire goes to the board and goes to the relay and is connected and grounded and received but when you go and transmit it opens it up so the VFO would never uh, operate and transmit unless you ground that orange wire but anyway this one isn't about that we'll get to that in another video coming up and I'm going to show the uh, bottom side of the radio right quick because also to uh, mod it to talk on the VFO this diode here or either the white and red wire here needs to be clipped or cut you know some people uh, uh, take the diode completely out some people have cut one leg doesn't matter which leg when you open up one leg of a uh, electronic circuit it you know defeats the whole circuit or some people have clipped the actual white and red wire there all does the same thing is um, what this does and that's D126 that diode there and what this does it this is the power going to the 4 megahertz crystals and this is in effect all the time in transmit when you transmit the power from the uh, um, relay through transmit is going to come through this dial and that white and red is going to go to the 4 megahertz crystal bank so anytime you transmit those uh, crystals would be operating those 4 megahertz crystals and you don't want that when you transmit if you want to transmit off the VFO you want to use the 4 megahertz off the VFO not the 4 megahertz off the crystals so you have to cut that clip it you know disable that to take that uh, 4 megahertz crystals out of play only off the VFO mode so and that's that's the circuit to it right here that's D126 or actually D1 yeah D126 nope I'm sorry D125 that's D125 right there 
Also, most mods to say clip D126. And this here on the um, AMSSB mode switch is D126. And you need to clip that and you need to ground a few things. But anyway, I just wanted to show this radio because it's unmolested. Is That's what it looks like from factory. With nothing clipped, nothing modified. People are like, where does the weird red and white wire go? Or why is my diode clipper? Why is that one clipped if they actually uh, find it and see it? Well, you need to do that if you want to transmit off the VFO. Plus, run a couple jumpers. But for this video, I'm not showing the jumpers. I'm probably going to go ahead and mod this radio. And once I do add the jumpers and clip my uh, diodes and all that, I'll make another video. But this is what one unmolested uh, looks like. And I guess I can fire up and show it right quick. I think I got the frequency counter on. And while I'm waiting to show uh, for it to warm up, here is a um, mod from CB Tricks, a printout. Of how to um, mod for transmit off the manual tuner of the VFO and jumper pins 3 and 7 on that on manual switch jumper pins 5 and 1 clip D126 and 125 and ground pin 10 of S4 that's that orange wire oh and they got a little picture right here the orange wire here pin 10 OR for orange and you were in a ground to the orange wire on the bottom of that uh, manual switch and here's a, you know a little picture of um, you know the dotted lines the jumper you run you run but anyway like I say this radio is unmodded so we're gonna key down and throw a dead key we're on channel six and my little four watt station ain't doing nothing so we're dead keying three and a half watts and you can see the frequency 27.0252 off a little bit and we could go to VFO or manual here and you're gonna see no change you know on manual because this is not um, modified and anyway the VFO internal VFO on a tram if you um, connect to it directly you will have channels basically one or minus one up to about channel 55 if you turn it all the way up yeah I'm a 45 50 55 channel 550 and you can go well this one is that's it as far as it'll go so channel 56 up the VFO I'm gonna unkey it and you can see I'm still transmitting there you go, lock the mic again. On channel um, 6, even though I'm on manual mode because this radio has not been modded. If it was modded, I would be transmitting off the VFO on channel 55 right now. And you can see I'm still on the crystal. Let's go to channel, I don't know, let's go to 13. And you can see I'm, you know, a little bit off frequency, 27.115. Because everything is related to the... Um, crystal selector on this radio even though I'm on manual it's still going to transmit on crystal so that's the way it comes factory and up and coming we're going to do a video once I get it modded on um, how to mod it so you can transmit on the VFO alright that's it for this one bye